although the butterfly and the caterpillar are completely different, they are one and the same. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl, Quinnale. Back with another video. You already know what's going on. What's today, y'all? What's today? What day of the week is it? You already know because it's Friday. It's Friday. Get it to me! Mm -hmm. hey. mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. Why? If you didn't know, I said it one more time. It's freaking Friday. This is my favorite day of the week. I try to be happy all the time on Fridays because Fridays is my favorite day of the week. I just feel different when Friday hit. You know what I'm saying? I be motivated and everything when Friday comes. So Friday is my favorite day of the week. And I know I said that about a hundred million times and you like shut the hell up, but I'm still going to say it. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. All right, y'all, but that's all I really gotta say. So you read the title of my video. I'll be doing my Monday Night Raw review for the women division. Uh, the men, I don't know. I just be more into the women division lately because, man, the women division came a long way. It really did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I only used to be about the men because the women weren't even pushing no pressure. So now the women is actually pushing pressure and you can get really into it. So that's why I'm in tune with it. And oh, and I'm a, I'm a girl, I'm a female. So of course I want to see the women go up to the top. You feel me? Elevate. But that's all I really got to say. Like, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified when this girl first upload. Cause I know you do no cap. You want to see me? on your channel i mean not on your channel how they gonna see them <sighs> anyways well kind of true no girl okay i know you want to see this face and me talk so please hit that notification button also follow me on my social media my instagram will be down below so follow me on there show your love and support to my pictures and we can talk about any wrestling you want to talk about period but y'all, before I get into the video, I know this intro is probably long as hell, but you still here, so that's a good sign. So before I get into this video, I want to read a quote. So the quote of the day, this is the quote of the day, y'all, the quote of the day. Instead of trying to build a brick wall, lay a brick every day. Eventually, you will look up and you will have a brick wall. So that quote really means that, you know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what your goal is, keep, like, keep going at it piece by piece. And eventually, you will have what you want. So, just keep going at it. Keep staying motivated and stuff like that. And uh, rest in peace to Nip. Because I think this was a Nipsey Hussle quote. You know what I'm saying? He was wise. And uh, I love hearing everything he be speaking on. And, you know, I'm going to keep it OG and I'm going to keep it real. I wasn't really... uh into him like that before but it's sad to say like it's is but to see him like go back and watch like how he was and how his intellect was and how his uh mindset was it's unbelievable so uh shout out to him for giving some intelligence and some knowledge <laughs> for me you feel me i love his quote so that's all i really gotta say though let's dive into it happy friday let's go monday night raw for the women review let's go all right y'all so monday night raw for the women let's start we're gonna start with bianca belair bianca belair will we riot peyton royce <laughs> As you know, Bianca Belair, she was having like an interview or whatever, I think with Sarah. I'm not sure. Um, but you know, Peyton Royce pops up, you know, you know, she a little irritating. You know how mosquito keep coming back, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, get off my neck. Like, for real, like she keep coming back, messing with folks, talking shit to folks. You feel me? That's how she was. So she keep coming back. Bianca Belair, like, girl, get, get up out my face. Because, you know, we don't play. You know what I'm saying? We don't play. <laughs> and be, you sure know the EST don't play. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you want? 
So she was talking her shit to Bianca about love. All of a sudden, you already know, Ru Ru, Ruby Riot popped up. And Ruby Riot was saying whatever she was saying to her, just cooking her up, basically. That means roasting her. She was like, so where your partner at? <laughs> where your partner at? Where Billy at? And I absolutely agree. You just was talking about Ruby Riot and Lil Morgan's situation and not her not having a partner like weeks ago. But you see how karma worked? Now your partner absent. Where she at? Where Billy at? Where Billy? Where she at? Huh. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ruby Riot was just mocking her, just messing with her. She was like, Hello, mate. I can't even say it like them. Hello. Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> hey. That would happen. Fast forward. Peyton Royce going to try to tell Bianca Belair. And I'm just I'm like, you talking to Bianca Belair? You really going to sit there and talk to her like that? Talking about you need to talk less and think more. Girl. <laughs> You, what you was doing, what you and Billy be doing, y'all the main ones that be talking and don't think at all. Like, y'all, y'all talk before you think. Then she said, yeah, you need to talk before you, yeah, you need to uh, talk less and think more to Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair just sent her there like, who you talking to? I'm the ENT, for real. I'm from Knoxville. <laughs> Give you the ad whooper, for real. And then she said she need to talk less, think more, or she going to end up like the trash little Morgan. You sat up there and called Liv trash? Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one. Huh, huh, huh. She, she really called Liv Morgan trash. You better be lucky. You better be lucky. She ain't there. You feel me? Speaking on her name like that. But you already know Ru Ruby handled it. Ruby handled it. She walked up in her face. She was like, <laughs> she was like, what's up? Like, she wasn't playing. Ruby Riot wasn't even playing with the girl. Like, she wasn't really playing with you. That trash, Liv Morgan. Oh, say, her her say her name okay, again. Say her name again. Okay, happens. okay. She, read, she wanted the smoke. She got up all in your face. She wanted that heat. She wanted that pressure. She wanted it. She wanted the smoke. And they got all in each other's face, Peyton and, um... Ruby, right? And Bianca Belair got in between and she was like, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. She said, but I like this. I already know, you know what I'm saying? Because she liked the, the heat between each other, you, the two, you know what I'm saying? Because they already had a match coming up anyway. So she liked the heat. But she looked at Peyton and somebody. Like, she looked at Peyton and <laughs> said what she said to Peyton. She said, I hope Billy watching because this ass whooping you about to get. Well, she didn't really curse, but she said, but you know what I mean. She said, you know, this ass whooping you about to get is going to be defined as iconic. When she did that, I had to laugh one time. Y'all, I'm going to play Bianca Belair saying that in the next clip. Oh, in a way that only can be described as iconic. <laughs> she want not playing with you, honey. Don't step up to the EST. You feel me? I'll fast forward to Ruby Riot match. So Ruby Riot hit Peyton Royce with the right kick during the match. Well, that was the end of another match. Ruby Riot won. Ruby Riot won. No cap. This was really crazy. This was a really good moment for all the Ruby supporters out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, this girl haven't won since she came back on thing. That's crazy. So I'm going to read a tweet that she put out. Um, she put this out. You know what I'm saying? It was pertaining to the match. That she won against Peyton on Monday. She said, Monday Night Raw was a special night. My match against Peyton Royce might not have been, been for a title or even for an opportunity at one. But it was my first singles win since November of 2019. When I came back from my shoulder injury surgeries, I thought things would be exactly how I left them. But they weren't. Things change, people change, and I didn't know how to handle it. But the fire that was lit after Peyton disrespect to Lil Morgan was one that I needed to shake the guilt and the defeat that I felt for months. 
even if it was only for a few minutes, Liv, if you watched on Monday, I hope you were proud. And Peyton, from now on, keep her name out of your mouth. She wasn't playing with you, Peyton. Keep your keep Lil Morgan name out of her out of your mouth. You feel me? Wash it out. So never put Lil Morgan name in your mouth again, or you're gonna reap these consequences again. You feel me? She wasn't playing with you. Put Lil Morgan name in your mouth. See what happened. <laughs> and that's what you got. Yo, I got right, kid. You feel me? We're gonna start a ride. We're gonna start a ride. But anyways, yeah. So basically, uh before I end this situation off, I feel like they using Lil Morgan name a lot in, in this situation right here with Ruby Riot and the iconic. So basically, I feel like they gonna insert Lil whenever she come back into whatever's going on. So they gonna insert her in this. And we're going to see what going to happen next with it. But I miss Lil Morgan. I really had high hopes for Lil Morgan. I still support Lil Morgan. She's one of my favorites. So hopefully she come back and she start doing well. And I really do think they trying to patch Lil Morgan and Ruby Riot back together. But yeah. Until next time, Peyton Royce, you better keep Lil Morgan name out your mouth. Or it's going to be a riot. Period. All right, moving on next, y'all. Moving on. So basically, Sasha Banks and Bailey. We gonna move on to this situation. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. So basically, you already know what happened at Extreme Rules. So the way Sasha Banks won was really not a win per se because Bailey wasn't the referee and she took off the referee uh shirt or whatever and put it on her so that w that didn't really count because she was an official she was just out there as a support system for Sasha Banks and you know she wasn't they didn't put her as no special guest referee or they didn't say Bailey could do that so it was a lot of pressure on the internet. These little wrestling fans trying to tell me what's going on. And I know what the fuck going on. I knew Bailey was not legal to do that. And I tried to tell these folks, I'm not finna be excited over this when I know it's not really a win. And I really know Sasha ain't the Raw Women's Champion. Tried to tell these motherfucking folk that. I really did. And I wasn't even throwing no shade to Sasha. I love Sasha Banks. She my favorite. <laughs> They talking about, you don't like her no more. You don't like her no more. My whole, my, look, all the motherfucking WWE merch I got is Sasha Banks. If I hated her that bad, <laughs> what? Come on, bro. Are y'all dumb in the head or something? But I just was trying to be like, like, even though I like somebody, doesn't mean I have to agree with everything they do. I can keep it real with my reactions. I just thought, someone right and i was right because you know bailey and sasha had this look but before we get into it i i thought like okay okay is sasha really supposed to be champ why is she running off in the distance because sarah tried to interview both sasha and bailey after uh extreme rules to get their input and ask them like bailey what's up with what you did and stuff like that they were trying to take off running and tell me, I explained on Monday, they was in a hurry. Why are you in a hurry if you want fair and squall? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so fast forward to Monday. Um, ba uh, Bailey and Sasha had this little thing where they said they was going to explain. So Sasha Banks comes out. Bailey comes out. Sasha Banks looked good in her outfit. Uh, by the way, she always looked good. But that outfit was killer. And they was just talking or whatever and explaining their self. Uh, and <laughs> you gotta love Bailey. Bailey is hilarious. But fast forward, Stephanie McMahon popped up on the screen and said that Sasha didn't really win the match. So I was like, I knew something was going down. I told these folks on my live stream that something like this was gonna go down. And I wasn't wrong though. I was dead ass like I knew it. So she said that she wasn't she wasn't the winner. And Oscar wasn't either. Nobody won a match. It makes sense because no official. Nobody won. And Sasha was just looking crazy and Bailey was looking crazy. 
And I told these folks, um, these little supporters that this was going to happen. So I'm not in the wrong. I wasn't even hang on Sasha. I was just telling like it was. And it happened just like I said. No, this coming up Monday, uh, Oscar and Sasha having a match that Stephanie McMahon set up. This match will be for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, this match can go either way. Submission, uh, pinfall, count out disqualification or anyone interferes so honestly i really think that oscar is going to get it back i honestly think oscar gonna get it back uh the thing is between this bailey and sasha feud i feel like there is something there and i feel like something is gonna go down um i really feel like something will go down with that i feel like bailey and Sasha's story is not over with. And I feel like this is the start of it when Oscar retains. Well, when Oscar gets the title back, the Raw Women's Championship back, uh, Sasha is going to be upset. Maybe Bailey will cost her the match. Who knows? But Stephanie McMahon said Bailey cannot interfere. If Bailey interfered, the title go to Oscar, I think. So Bailey probably going to do something crazy. And this Sasha and Bailey feud is going to happen. And I feel like it's going to happen. I don't know when we're going to start this shit. But I feel like it's going to start. They already been throwing a little jabs at each other and stuff like that. So I feel like this is going to happen. And um, what else I was about to say? So yeah, so the Bailey and Sasha situation, I just feel like Sasha is going to be the face of this feud if it does happen. Sasha is going to be the face. So... I don't know when the breaking point going to be, but I'm just going to sit back and watch. So here's what, <clears throat> so here's what Bailey said to Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> you got to love this chick, bro. I love you, Bailey. Ba bro, they be, bro, Bailey, you doing it right now as a heel. She said, Stephanie McMahon is done for. She tagged her too on Twitter. You are done for. And I'm saying here like, what's about y'all about the feud too? You finna have a feud with the <laughs> with the boss? <laughs> hey, come on now. And then she put like them mad emojis. Stephanie McMahon replied back with a question mark. Like, who you talking to? What you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? Bailey replied back. Hello, ma'am. That was just a typo. <laughs> Uh, she like she 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 play her for that. She play her, She flip the shit. She know what she was talking about the first time, but you play her because you know what I'm saying. Hey, you had to release that uh SmackDown Women's Championship and that uh, uh tag title. You would be on a uh five list. She switched that up real quick. She talking about hello, ma'am. That was just a typo. I meant. Hope you do. I hope you done for the day. <laughs> I hope you done for the day so that you can relax. <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> she crazy. I love this Bailey. I don't know what got into you and what kicked this off, but whatever kicked this off need to stay like this because you crazy and I love it. You know what I'm saying? My mama even be looking at it and I be showing her bits and pieces of what Bailey be doing. And Bailey be hilarious. I love Bailey. Ding dong. Hello. <laughs> Yo, uh, we're gonna talk about Kyrie Zane. So shout out to Kyrie Zane. Thank you, Kyrie. Uh, you know, Bailey and Kyrie Zane had a match. This supposedly was Kyrie Zane's final match. Um, and she picked up the win. Uh, this was a very good match, though. Like, I really liked it in this match. You know what I'm saying? This match was really good. Um, so all I just want to say is, uh, thank you to Kyrie Zane. And, uh, I put a little video clip together for, of Kyrie Zane. And, yeah, I'll put some little clips together of that. But, yeah, um, Kyrie Zane won with a roll-up, you know, to Bailey. I really thought she was going to win with the, the little elbow. But she really didn't win with the elbow. She did win with a roll-up, but... Shout out to Kyrie Zane and her last match and stuff like that. And I wish her the best wherever she's going. And I think she's going back to Japan um, to be with her husband. That's the rumor I heard. And so, yeah, um, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say a thank you to Kyrie. And that's all.
y'all. So that's all I really got to say for this video. Uh, I know this video hella long. But I hope you stayed into this video. It's Friday all the way. You already know what's going on. So we got Smackdown. I'll be going live for Smackdown. And any other videos you want to talk about. Uh, no, any other video ideas you got from me, I'll do them. We just going to see what's going to kick off on Smackdown. Uh, you know, we got Bailey on there and we got Sasha. So we're going to see what's going down. But that's all I really got to say. I hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'm out of here. Peace.